What's up guys, Leaf right here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about what in my opinion is the best budget 4K vlogging setup you can get right now. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Welcome back. So if you guys are new to my channel, the kind of things you guys will see here is tips, tricks, reviews, tutorials for the budget filmmaker slash content creator. So if that's something you are interested in, consider subscribing right now. But we're going to go ahead and get into this video right now. And like I said, we're going to be discussing what I feel is the best budget 4K vlogging setup you can get right now. So without further ado, let's get into it. And the horse of this thing, the main thing, the driver of this setup is the Sony A6100. That's the camera of choice. That's the main part. That's the engine. That's the first thing. The next thing is its kit lens, uh, the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. The next thing is gonna be your mic. You need audio, you gotta have a mic. Your BOA MM1 shotgun mic. The next thing you guys are gonna need is a tripod. The Joby Gorillapod 1K. And lastly, you need this, this small rig hot shoe relocator because if you guys are familiar with Sony cameras, you got the flip up LCD, put a mic there, blocks the screen, so you gotta have something to relocate it. So that's the setup. So let's go over some of the prices right now. The camera with the kit lens right now on Amazon is $698, so we'll go ahead and round that up right now. Then we got the mic, which is $33. Sorry, I got itch. <laughs> the tripod is $27. The hot shoot relocator is $21. Oh, and one other thing you are gonna need, you're gonna need the SD card. Uh, I recommend the 64 gig scan, di scan disc pro, and we're looking at about another $20 for that. So putting us up at a grand total of $801. Now I know $801 sounds like a lot of money, but if you think about what you're getting, you're getting a lot. Now there obviously is other vlogging options out there. Sony released one that is, you know, geared toward vlog geared toward vloggers. Um, the new uh, Sony uh, ZV-1 and that right now just the camera itself just the camera you're looking at about seven hundred and fifty dollars on Amazon right now just the camera so you got that then you add the, the Gorillapod SD card the mic because you can't put a mic on top of it we're looking at a grand total of eight hundred and thirty dollars so we're looking at a thirty dollar difference but I gotta think of a few of the pros for this that kind of outweigh that. I know it's $30 and you know, it's a newer camera, blah, blah, blah. It's geared towards bloggers. It has the uh, flip out LCD versus the flip up. You know, it has its pros, but what I'm gonna say why this setup is better than that one is one, you get a bigger sensor on this better image quality in my opinion just from what i've never used it but from what i've seen online compared to like the a6100 the a6400 the image quality is just better also the field of view you get a wider field of view on this even with the kit lens it's a 24 uh full frame equivalent um the reviews i've seen on the zv1 it's a lot more cropped in uh, it's not quite as a wide field of view and then when you put on the stabilization you get cropped in even more so that's a negative as well and the third negative of it is 
you have a fixed lens with this setup you have the option of switching lenses out so to me the setup I'm recommending you get a lot more bang for your buck but again that's just my opinion so anyways guys we're gonna go ahead and take this thing outside and do a real quick vlogging test so don't go nowhere all right what's up guys so this is the vlogging test on this camera the sony a6100 on the kit lens the 16 to 50 and since i don't have an nd filter for this one i am just setting it to shutter priority mode so i will get that normal motion blur but yeah this is the vlogging experience you can expect this camera great image um, great autofocus I just have it in the standard picture profile because that's all this thing comes with so as you can see the colors look very good people say a lot about Sony's colors but honestly I think they look really good just my humble opinion that's what I think and again this is the shot this is the field of view you'd get which is a um, about a 24 millimeter full frame equivalent and also another recommendation when vlogging which I'm going to do as well is I'm gonna probably do more just setting and shutter priority modes because when you're outside vlogging in the light there's lighting changes all the time and it's kind of a pain in the butt to constantly go in here and adjust your ND filter so I recommend if you're vlogging just to set it to shutter priority and you're good to go. So again, this is the vlogging experience you can expect. Let's get back inside now. All right guys, back inside. So that is the vlogging test. That is what you can expect with this camera, just shooting the standard picture profile um, with the kit lens on it. In my opinion, the colors, the field of view, the autofocus look great. So again, I feel like for $801, you get a big bang for your buck if you're looking for a nice 4K vlogging setup. So, you guys seen it, you guys have heard the my, my spiel as to why I think that. Now, are there other more budget friendly options out there that you might be able to get for a little bit cheaper? Yeah, there is. Um, I actually did one probably almost a year ago for the uh, Panasonic G7. I'll link that up here right now if you wanna watch it. So yeah, I did that one and I love the Panasonic G7. You know, I have videos talking about the G7, how much I love that camera. But again, I feel like, not this one, this is my A6400. Um, but my A6100 setup that I'm just talking to you guys about, I feel like that is still, even though you're gonna be paying more for it, it's still going to be a better setup. You're going to get way more for your money. For one, I think the image quality is better on the A6100. And for two, the autofocus is a lot better as well. We all, If you're familiar with cameras, we all know Panasonic is not known for their autofocus. It's part of the reason I left them. So, yeah. So you're sacrificing maybe not quite as good of image quality for and autofocus if you choose to go that cheaper route, which you can, it's your money. I'm not telling you how to spend your money, but if you want the most bang for your buck, again, A6100, kit lens, kit, I'm gonna do two, A6100, kit lens, BOA MM1, shotgun mic, Gorillapod 1K, small rig, hot shoot relocator and your SD card you got six six things eight hundred dollars less than a thousand dollars for a damn good vlogging setup I don't know I think it's a pretty damn good deal if you ask me but again that's my opinion alright guys so anyways I'm gonna wrap this video up I hope you guys have enjoyed it hope you guys have found some use out of it again if there's anything you guys want to see leave a comment let me know if you're not subscribed, again, please hit that subscribe button. Again, hit that like button, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Make sure you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. See you next time.